Because, I mean, it's just three minutes, isn't it? I mean, just get going. Just get any Pokemon. I want to go get a train. Social distancing doesn't have to mean emotional distancing. <laughs> I'm quite sure that was like the first thing in the email. <laughs> it's true though. You don't have to emotionally distance yourself. Just because we don't, can't touch each other doesn't mean you can't cry. <laughs> oh. Oh! Sorry, I can't read that. Two seconds. Two seconds. I hope that comes up. Yeah, it does. Hey, PT Gamer, thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. Sees me toad. No, thank you. You kinda. Do you remember like the line before time? Fulhams. He kind of looks like Spike a wee bit. I think it's just the nose. But he looks like Spike, so I should have called him Spike, but I didn't, and it's too late now. It's gonna start snowing. Yep. Oh. Goodbye, Sneeple. I'm gonna catch this thing. A two cone. Vanillox. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I was gonna change the two of this. We're not gonna fight the cormorant. Wait, it's the cormorant. Well, there's actually a different few types of cormorants. There's a type of bird which looks exactly like that guy, except it's not blue. That's actually based more off the pygmy. Cormorant, I'm sure. I'm sure it's the pygmy cormorant that doesn't have, or it has wings, but they've kind of evolved away in a sort that they, they don't need to fly. They use them for swimming more. That could be a lie, but I'm quite sure that's the truth. <laughs> don't count on it, but I could be right. Obviously, that's just a bit of clickbait, lads. If you don't know what clickbait is, then... It's working. <laughs> like, genuinely, eh... Uh... Oh, I hate these fucking linoons, I was gonna call it a zigzagoon. Well, like, I posted a video the other day that, uh... Oh, no effect. Wow. The, uh, it was actually. Ah, oh, I forgot to fucking. It was of the Resident Evil 3 demo. It was posted like a couple of weeks ago, I think. And my title was something along the killing everything, along the lines of killing everything with a knife. But the everything was in capitals. And like, it was to emphasize sarcasm because it wasn't everything that I killed with the knife. And this person nicely commented on my video and was like, oh, it's very misleading, you didn't even, you barely used the knife. And I just, honestly, I was like, have you hit, honestly, I'm gonna assume he watches YouTube a lot. And you don't know what clickbait is? Like, if you're on the internet, for any amount of time and you don't know what clickbait is. It's just crazy. I just, I thought everyone knew. I thought it was out there, you know? I thought everyone was on that clickbait game. <laughs> but apparently this guy wasn't. This guy was like, where's clickbait? I'm kidding, he wasn't. Cause he didn't reply back to my comment. Cause you know, they never do when you have an answer for them. But that's fine. But it worked though, the clickbait, it worked because he watched that video. So it totally worked. So that's why clickbait works, my friends. If you went away on. <laughs> you can try, but you feel gladly. Really? I don't know, I hate trying to pronounce things. That's why I don't do live streams. <laughs> it's so that you can't hear how bad I am at English. Kinda wanna just go. 
Oh, that's... Ah! I'm fate in my life. <laughs> that was a dittle. I have a dittle, though. And hope for the best. Hoping for best. Snake attack! Flank him! Screw you, Obama Snow! Please just get in the ball. Because I can't be annoyed. You healing, me trying to kill you, and then actually killing you, getting upset. Oh, damn it! That was close. I thought me talking through that would have just been like, oh, here you go, here's a Pokemon. <laughs> damn it, boy. Wrong button again. Come on, three shakes. Oh, for fuck! You can still get in a Pokeball even at that amount of health rate. What was that for? That sounded different. Yeah! Woo! I'm kidding. He <gasps> oh my god, he's evolving! I don't even know what your evolution looks like. Oh my god, Miss. <gasps> I have two GPs? Dracloak? You have a dreepy on top of you? Has that ever happened before? No. Never in Pokemon history. Has a Pokemon evolved with a baby Pokemon on it or in a pouch anywhere? What if I use a netball on you? Yeah. 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 Cross your fingers. Cross them. Cross them. Yes. Woo! Yes. No, you are mine. Come on, crush your fingers. Please. Oh, yes! One shake and that was it. That's what I call pro gamer move. Because <laughs> uh, as I'm doing this, I'm quite sure Jack Safety Guy is also streaming. Uh, there's probably a lot of people streaming right now because. Well, that's the whole point in this, isn't it? <laughs> but I want to talk to you about some impacts that COVID-19 has had on... Well, the thing I read was for America, but again, I don't live in America, and I know the stats are really big in America because obviously it's a bigger place, so they have more cases and more deaths, which is horrible. But I'm going to talk more about the UK and the UK's numbers and problems. Which, <laughs> the UK's problems started at politics and ended in politics. But, well, it's kind of it's also worldwide as well as the UK. But apparently there's like over a million cases of it. There's probably a lot more than that at some point. Like now, sorry. Like worldwide. Of Corona. Globally. And did you know that in America, 6.6 6 million people left their job this week. Or declared a, like, unemployment. I didn't mean to run into bear tech. So bear with me. <laughs> bear with me. There's some people that really appreciate that, appreciate that joke. Too much. <laughs> but hey, uh, that... Two seconds, actually. I'm going to be done this in two seconds. But hey, uh, that 6.6 .6 million people who filed for unemployment literally doubled within a week because last week it was 3.3 .3 million people that had to file for unemployment but this week it was doubled to 6.6 .6 million and that is a lot of people that aren't working because of this and I am not saying <clears throat> that oh just get back to work definitely not that's not what I'm saying because you should be staying in the house Woo! <clears throat> one hit KO again by the way It's just a massive jump in people not being able to work and potentially not being able to pay rents and mortgages and survive. 
Now you know, also 1.5 billion, that is 90% of students are now out of school. Because Corona is affecting 188 countries. Apparently. But 90% of students being at a school and not knowing how things are going to go. I know I've been a student before and probably a many of you have. <laughs> so you know yourself, it, having to go through a whole year of work to then just have your result rely on that work alone. I know I'd be pooping myself. But back to it. Did you know that actually I'm gonna stand here a bit because I need to read this. Oh fuck you, buddy. Sneasel. But did you know before the corona? Like before COVID nineteen was a thing. Um like, apparently 815 million people, one in nine, already faced, like, dying of hunger. Like, and, like, people live on the streets, people, their food banks are a thing. Just, like, COVID-19 is a very horrible thing that, unfortunately, we're having to go through. But... Before there was COVID-19, there's been all sorts of other illnesses or other diseases and other... Even just the common flu has probably killed more than COVID-19. But that doesn't mean it lessens its severity. Severity, whatever. However you might pronounce the E and A there. <laughs> but it just means... I don't know. I guess... I don't know. It, it just means that pe people are dying anyway. Not that people are dying anyway. I don't know. See, these are the things with my notes. I didn't take a note on that. Or it is a note and there's nothing on it. It's just people lived on streets, food banks sort of thing. That's my notes. But they are, they, those things are only going to get worse. Like, those normal families that have their own house. Not normal families, but you know what I mean? People that have a home and they're having to rely on food banks and... It's just crazy. Because a lot of people, again, overbought their food. But that's apparently fine because the government are a-holes and they're dealing with it. But not quick enough. Oh no, I was going back to the store. To go tell you my facts. So here's the part where the UK comes in because, as I says, the website gave me American details and I wanted more specifically UK details purely because people in the UK aren't listening when, as far as COVID 19 is concerned. Like, I, like, yes, yeah, getting to spring and I, I'd love to be outside today in the sun to get a nice tan because believe me, I love getting a tan, okay? But that doesn't mean I'm going to risk putting my mum and dad in. Fuck, that bear tick again. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm going to risk putting my mum and dad in hospital just so that I can go outside. People are still flocking to the beach in parks on a sunny day like it's nothing like there isn't a pandemic going around like there isn't something killing thousands of people in the UK alone there's been 5,000 deaths that's probably near 5,500 at this rate and that's like 400 plus deaths a day and there's apparently 51,600 odds cases in the UK as a whole. And again, that is nearly 4,000 plus cases a day. And to me, that's kind of scary. Like, you hear about it in the news and it's like a zombie apocalypse. It's like it's getting closer and closer to you. So you're thinking at a point, like, when do I start really worrying? 
Well, the time was a while ago, my friends. We should have been worrying a long time ago. The UK should have been prepared for this a long time ago. And apparently, like from this graph that I've seen from the March, from March 21st, cases have tripled. Tripled, that is a big number. And I just, this, people aren't taking it seriously enough. Like, how can you not take that seriously? As I said, the health of your family are pretty much relying on this and you to stay inside. And it was also noted that I should remember where whilst we are all being told to wash your hands and clean and just stay clean. There are over 2 billion people out there without access to water. So how are they supposed to stay clean? How are they supposed to wash their hands? That's why it's, it's places like that where the, the COVID spreads quicker. And at a more terrifying rate and it, it's honestly, it's kind of scary. Genuinely, like how quickly this is spreading. And as I said, like, I, I don't really care about many people. <laughs> but my family are my priority. They're the only ones I care about right now. And the only ones I ever will care about is my family. And as I said, I'm not going to go risk getting a nice tan, risk getting them infected, or to risk infecting anyone. And it's not just your family, like, it's infecting people around you. Old, like, say that old person you walk next to because, I don't know, because you're an idiot and don't know how to measure two years. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's two arm lengths, by the way. Unless you're really tiny and have tiny arms. Then it may be, like, two and a half. <laughs> oh, and actually, I wanted to give a wee shout out to, like, uh, volunteers. Last thing, volunteers on the NHS, people, like, the, everyone, like, uh, you know, they were bringing back people that had retired or people that had left the NHS and now they're coming back to help the NHS. Stuff like that, man. People like that is who we need. I mean, yeah, they're putting themselves at risk, but they're doing that to help so many other people, you know, and they're doing it for you so that you don't have to be locked inside forever it's the reason they're risking their lives all they're asking you to do is stay home it's like being asked to eat chocolate for the rest of your life if you like chocolate that is i don't really like it that much but would you d would you turn it down no probably not unless you're into your fitness i don't know it's like asking to eat a high fiber bar <laughs> if you're into your fitness. <laughs> but it's also uh, people as well. I've heard of a lot of uh, like takeaway places that are helping, giving free food to like s nurses and doctors and it just NHS staff. NHF? NHS staff. And like taxi drivers and that. To uh, giving them free rides and free transport that is amazing it's things like that that i'm absolutely loving seeing and more, not more importantly but a wee shout out to my mum because she's making uh masks for the is it, is it a chemist it, like a doctor's surgery and chemist like f for our local doctors and nurses and I think that's amazing, and she is my hero, so... I mean, don't let, don't let her hear me say that though, right? <laughs> you ever saw a bike that you can drive on water? How cool is that? Did you see all the Pokemon I avoid? ah! avoided? Avoided oh, all Wilmar or Willlord? Wilmar. No, 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 no. So yeah, it's shout out to my mum. Local champ and local hero. Barbacle. 
That's actually quite a cool Pokemon. Animal Crossing is a game I haven't got. And I've heard that, like, apparently if you don't have it, it's worth, it's genuinely worth it. But I just, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's my thing. Apparently it's what we need right now because it's really relaxing, so I've heard. I don't get how getting into debt can be relaxing, but maybe that's just me. <laughs> I'm already in debt as a real human. Never mind being in debt in game time, too. Gaming is like my favourite thing. I don't want that being ruined by debt. <laughs> Animal Crossing saves hearts lives. It doesn't save lives, it hurts them. Which is a... I don't... I've never really understood that. Like, I've never lost a game of something and thought, I'm gonna message them and tell them their mum's a so-and-so, you know? Like, no. No. Just grow up. That's why nine-year-olds shouldn't play Xbox. <laughs> That's why nine-year-olds shouldn't play games. But if you do, like, like, uh, conspiracies and that kind of stuff, then... I'm going to start talking about that kind of garbage on my actual channel, which link is in a panel. If you scroll down right now, you'll see the link to my YouTube. And uh, I'm going to start talking more conspiracy theories on there. I, I, I want to plan that in anyway. Gastrodon, that's a cool name. Because, well, I just, I love conspiracy theories, especially nowadays, there's all sorts about this corona, and I'd like to share some of them and, like, maybe get some opinions on some, so, that'd be cool. If you're a conspiracy theorist like me, is your mind going crazy right now, like, with this corona stuff? Because there's just all sorts going about, and you don't know what to think. If you want to know, there's five steps that you can take to help prevent. It's not going to help stop unless you have a cure that you're not telling us about. I'm looking at you, Russia. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Maybe Germany, actually. I'm sure I heard they were pretty close. Or they were working on something and they didn't want America to have it. But that's, that's just word of mouth, right? And also to the volunteers as well, like people that were out of jobs and uh, like used to work for the NHS are now going back to help. And uh, it's people like that in like food shops that are giving away free food to NHS staff and taxi companies that are giving free lifts to NHS, NHS staff. I keep messing that one up. Um, again, I thank you to you people because you are trying to not pick up the slack, but I don't know, I guess provide energy and just helping hands and it's really good. And there are people out there, my lovely, genuinely lovely mum included, that are making their own masks to help and donate towards health professions like we are giving ours to a little doctor's surgery. Well, my mum's given hers, I didn't help to a doctor surgery that's near us and I think it's amazing because they're washable so you, they're not having to waste money on disposable face masks so you know like they don't have to waste money that isn't there which by the way if everyone is still working for the NHS or just if medical professionals are still wanting to do their job after all this then honestly I take my hat off to you man because you didn't sign up for any of this. And you're still having to do it, and it's pretty crazy. That's why I can't thank you enough. And the whole world owes you a debt, genuinely. <laughs> I thank you to anyone that watched. It wasn't a lot, but there were some. There were but a few. Now, thank yous. And hopefully I'll see you other points, not just until the 1st of May, but just in the future where I continue my streaming life and keep going at it and keep trying to actually grow my YouTube channel, which again is, I hope, 
use of staying safe and staying inside. Hashtag flatten the curve. Hashtag stay at home. Kidding. <laughs> I hope you're being clean and decontaminating. You know, because we need to decontaminate. But until next time, which will hopefully be soon. Thumbs, ya gal. As out of here.